Good afternoon on what is a warm, grey and overcast day. It is Sunday the 4th of September. Got a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue um, unboxing. So I've pulled a number of things out of here already, uh, such as 6x6x6 times six times six and the unfortunately named white power um, but next I have the obsidian antifarus by Alex Mayo uh, written for uh, use with um, Lamentations of the Flame Princess a weird fantasy role-playing game published by Lamentations of the Flame Princess so uh, 1631 a strange island materializes off the coast of Plymouth England at the center of the island stands a lighthouse but instead of a warning nearby ships of danger it hypnotically draws them to the island's deadly shores where did this island come from and what is the source of its occult power? Uh, it's written by Alex Mayo, who wrote uh, Earth in a, um, uh, Incubation Crisis and White Power. The Obsidian Antiforest is a low level adventure scenario for Lamentations of the Flame Princess and other traditional role playing games. So, yes, you can run this with the retro clone of your choice. Um, you can easily take this and drop it into, you know, off the coast of your whatever um, land you have in your fantasy setting. Um, but if you're running it as written, it's uh, set near Plymouth, off the coast of Plymouth, off the coast of Plymouth, in the uh, early modern period, post-Renaissance, uh, so the early 17th century, um, during the reign of Charles I, a decade after the Mayflower left um, Plymouth for um, the New World. So inside we have summary, and I think it's all going to be... Yeah, it is all this white on black. Um, so you have this image of the, essentially the lights crackling out of this anti-lighthouse. I mean, Pharos being um, the famous uh, light, the name of the, I believe the, the name of the lighthouse at Alexandria, something like that. Um, I could be wrong, of course. Um, which guided ships to its shore, to its safe harbour, and here, um, this is doing the reverse and calling um, ships uh, to danger and the island itself which clearly here uh, um, divided in half with the uh, antiphorus um, amidst this jungle um, at the centre um, and we've got a couple of villages a couple of factions here I think and various villages and, 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 and sort of like random locations as well the numbers locations so um so we've got a description of the island there um, and then um got a random a random encounter table um you know with islanders shipwreck survivors obsidian beetle swarms um an npc the hatch crab walls feathered razor moors big ass tree starfishes and there's the big ass tree starfish about to land on that poor unfortunate um and uh, and then we've got also balls as well so yeah we've got two tribes um the Thug, uh, thugin and the dewath um and um it tells you what they believe and what they're doing um and so on and presumably because there's this, I'm sorry, essentially because there's a war between them, they kind of hate each other. They, they divided the island between themselves. Um, so presumably, I'm going to try and do the play characters because essentially uh, deal with these tribes or not. Find the entrance, which is there. Um, and oh well, okay. Holland says it's the hatch. The real entrance of the tower is locked in a metal hatch that randomly teleports from place to place around the island every 24 hours. There are 10 possible locations to the hatch. So. Those numbers correspond to where the hatch might be once every 24 hours. Also, basically, for 20, um, you know, uh, for 24 hours before it moves again. Um, so, if that's not the re if, if if the real entrance is, is not those doors, I presumably wonder what happens when they touch the doors. Um, at, uh, okay, towers, tools are actually false entrance. Anyone attempts to open the doors gets teleported to a holding cell within the tower um, 
okay so she's got a map of the tower inside so there's the location and then what the the uh that's all acid you get you i'm presuming that's sort of like a walkway perhaps retractable because that's what it should be um so you get retracted towards sort of like a platform in the middle of an um an acid pool okay um so once you've actually got the um find the, the hatchway here's the entrance through the tower uh different locations all the way up so here going presumably there's a maze along the way and um weirdness is the fact that all of this fits inside the tower i presume because let's have a look um at, uh, um yeah um so i'm just losing my page here let's um, so yeah all fits in there and there's the light uh, coming out of the eight-sided die, uh, the um, octahedron at the top there. Um, and we do have notes in here also for how to get your character, player characters involved and the location of um, the Devonshire coast. Because um, Plymouth is sort of like, if it's, it's Portsmouth, is this Portsmouth? Sorry, Plymouth. Um, Plymouth is in Devon, uh, but very close to Cornwall. Although I doubt the Cornish are going to want to claim this island. Um, so you've got notes on there and a, and a historical map as well. And, uh, so just more sort of like details of the, the, the locations inside the tower. And they only run to, to, to nine nine locations so it's quite a small sort of like mini dungeon uh, in effect uh, in one of them in the grotto they will be facing that um, which is the automatic uh, automated gate uh, matey gator um, at, uh, okay um, so that's the looks terrible and then we've got um, a, a false bed chamber belonging to someone Capigoris um, and then his actual bedchamber and a ritual room presumed that's where the source of the power is coming from before we get into um, what happens now Capigoris lives and presumably he's the one in charge and whose who's base this is so yes uh, that's going to be interesting when, when that happens um, and we've got some items which the player characters might get away with um, if they survive the whole encounter um, but it looks quite a tough difficult encounter and we've got to see what it says about Kebigaris himself Kebigaris the um, the Radamanthine is an 18th level magic user armor 13 without armor um, and I can imagine in numerous spells and so on um, and um, there's possibly he's there for if he lives if he dies uh, what's going to happen to the island? Um, yeah, that is um, an odd one. I think it looks like sort of like a mixture of um, sort of like uh, a little bit of role playing in the middle, exploration in sorry, a bit role playing at the beginning, uh, role playing and exploration sort of thing at the beginning, and then exploration in the middle combined with a bit of a death trap dungeon sort of kind of style, especially with the acid pool. Because um, you know how do you get out of that one? So yeah. So yeah, that is the Obsidian Antiphorus for Lamentations of the Weird, uh, oh sorry, Lamentations of the Flame Princess Weird Fantasy Roleplay Game. Uh, this one, I don't know, um, I like roleplaying in that period, I don't know whether I would run this for my player characters, it's, it's a little bit odd, um, certainly for low level characters, especially at the end of it, they've got to face an um, 18th level mage, um, and um, it looks to be quite busy and so on you know your players are going to sort of like wondering quite what's going on they're going to be at a bit of a loss i think with this one so yeah that's obsidian antifarus but again that's my first impressions um i will come back to this in a proper review anyway i hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the nook if you have then please do click on the like button down below and of course if you've got any comments or feedback i appreciate you taking the time to post those and finally, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings and look where you will see me out here um, with a box 
uh, containing a book or game which I will extract and unbox and talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.